Officer on deck 10 hut! Why did you give her a code red? Sir? 4,000 Marines on that base. None of them went into her room that night. I was her squad leader, sir. It was my job. She had been messing up every day for eight months. You never gave her a code red. Why that night? Sir, Santiago broke the chain no, of- No, no, I don't want to hear about the chain of command. I don't want to hear about loyalty or your bozo code of honor. Why didn't you give her a code red? God is watching, Lance Corporal Dawson. And he helps those who help themselves. And so do I. Get your house in order, Lance Corporal. Unit core guard country. And duty to self simply is a part of the equation. Get your house in order so that these Marines can believe in you again. Get your house in order so that the Lord our God can look down and say, There is a United States Marine, and I will stand at his side. Get your house in order, and don't let anyone ever tell you we're not at war. You were given an order, weren't you? Yes, sir. Kendrick ordered the code red, didn't he? Yes, sir. He told every other man in that meeting not to touch her. And then he told you to, the, I've got to talk to the prosecutor. You mind telling me why you never mentioned this to me before? You never asked us, sir. The Cutie Pie Act is not going to win you a place in my heart, Corporal. I get paid no matter how much time you spend in jail. Yes, sir, I know you do, sir. Harriet! I'll talk to you when I get back. What'd they say? I want you to stop following me. I want you to get off my back. And I want you to get off this case. Markinson went UA. What? Unauthorized absence. I know what it means. When? Tonight, after we left. I'll talk to him in the morning. I tried. Nobody can find him. Now what'd they say? You already tried. Do you understand the meaning of interfering with a government investigation? Yes, I do. But I'm not, because I'm now Leah Downey's attorney. What are you talking about? Aunt Ginny. She feels like she's known me for years. She said she'd feel much more comfortable if I were directly involved. Leah signed the papers a half hour ago. Don't worry, I'm not going to make a motion for separation. You're lead counsel. I defer to your skills as a litigator. Now, what'd they say? You frighten me. I'm involved now in a situation where the stakes couldn't be higher. And I'm not going to take time out of my schedule to give tutorials to an internal affairs schoolgirl who doesn't have the first clue as to what she's doing. I just melt when you sugar talk me, Danny. Now, what'd they say? Kendrick ordered the code red. What do we do now? Find Jack Ross. You talk to the other guys in the platoon? I don't need to. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, they all say the same thing. They weren't there. Kendrick dismissed them. You talked to Kendrick. I already talked to Kendrick. I told you before you went down there. He denies everything. He talked to Kendrick? Yeah. You talked to Kendrick? I didn't think anything. Why did you think there was anything to deny? Joe? I had a suspicion. You Joe, had. it's not important. You had a suspicion and you chose not to share it with anyone. It was just a... Who is this? Commander Galloway is Downey's attorney. She's very glad to meet you. Ebenezer Galloway? Look! You want to charge me with something, ma'am? How are you getting information 12, 24, 48 hours before we are? You want to charge are? me with something? Hey, everybody! In the interest of justice, take a deep knee bend. Joe, Ross didn't know about the Code Red. Because if he had, and he hadn't told us, he knows he'd be violating about a 14 articles of the Code of Ethics. He got enough to worry about, as it is. Heaven forbid our clients decide to plead not guilty and testify for the record that these things happen every day. Kendrick specifically told the man- And then he specifically told Dawson and Downing to shave her head. That's not what Kendrick said. Kendrick is crazy. Kendrick is mean and Kendrick is lying. You have proof? I have the defendants. And I have 23 officers not accused of murder and a Marine Lieutenant with four letters of commendation. Why did Markinson go UA? We'll never know. You don't think I can subpoena Markinson? You can try, but you're not going to find him. What are you talking about? You know what Markinson did for the first 17 of his 21 years in the Corps? CIC, Danny. Counterintelligence. Markinson's gone. There is no Markinson. Colonel Jessup's star is on the rise. They're giving me a lot of room to spare her embarrassment. How much room? I can knock it all down to assault and bad conduct. Two years, they're home in six months. He's got a PR problem, Danny. He can't afford to go to court. Which is lucky for you, because you're turning green at the thought of it. Yes, taking this to court would be bad for me. It'd be bad for the court, and I'd be held responsible for how the officers were treated as witnesses. But you go to court, and your girls go away for 40 years. Jack, come on. Are we clear on that? We have to be clear on that. The second I leave this room, I've got to put the hammer down. They'll be charged with the boatload. Murder, conspiracy, conduct unbecoming. And in a courtroom, you lose this case. Please, Danny. I'm your friend. I think Kendrick's lying and I don't think the girls belong in jail. But I don't get to make that decision. I represent the people without passion, you see. 
and the people have a case. Tell them to plead to a soul. All in all, not a bad week to work for the defense. It's the end of this negotiation. Nine o'clock tomorrow, I'll see you at the arraignment. Here's the deal, I think you're gonna be happy. You plead guilty to assault, and the government prosecutor will recommend two years with probation after six months. Whoa, great job, how can I ever thank you? Guys? I'm afraid we can't do that, sir. Do what? Make a deal, sir. What are you talking about? We did nothing wrong, sir. We did our job. And if that has consequences, then I'll accept them. But I won't say I'm guilty, sir. Did, did, did she put you up to this? No! We have a code, sir. Well, zippity doo -dah. You plead not guilty, and you go to jail for the rest of your life. You do what I'm telling you, and you're home in six months. Permission to... Speak! What do we do then, sir? When? After six months, we'd get a dishonorable discharge. Right, sir? Probably. What do we do then, sir? We didn't join the court because it felt like it. We joined because it was a life decision. We wanted to live by a code, sir, and we found it in the court. And now, you're asking us to sign a piece of paper that says we have no honor? You're asking us to say we're not Marines? If the court decides what we did was wrong, then I'll accept whatever punishment they give, but I believe I was right, sir. I believe I did my job. I won't dishonor myself, my unit, or the court so that I can go home in six months, sir. You guys are a freak show. Dawson hates me, and he's going to jail just to spite me. I want to get him a new lawyer. All right. You make a motion tomorrow at the arraignment. The judge will offer for a plea. We move to an 802 conference, and you can explain your situation. OK, that's that. Yeah. But when you ask the judge for new counsel, be sure and ask nicely. What do you want from me? I want you to let him be judged. I want you to stand up and make an argument. An argument that didn't work for Kali at Milai, and an argument that didn't work for the Nazis at Nuremberg. Oh, come on, Sam. Do you really think that's the same thing as two teenage Marines executing a routine order that they never thought would result in harm? These guys aren't the Nazis. Don't look now, Danny. But you're arguing a position. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, I'll get them a new lawyer. Why are you so afraid to be a lawyer? Joe. Were daddy's expectations really that high? Hey! Dawson and Danny will have their day in court, but they'll have it with another lawyer. Another lawyer won't be good enough. They need you. Why? Because you know how to win. I know how to fight, but you know how to win. I know the law. You know nothing about the law. You're a used car salesman, Daniel. You're an ambulance chaser with a rank. Live with that. Sam, why does a junior grade with six months experience and a track record for plea bargaining get singled out for a murder trial? Could it be so that it never sees the inside of a courtroom? They got you guys in separate cells now, huh? Yes, sir. You wanna hear a joke? You ever hear about the restaurant in outer space? Great food, but there's no atmosphere. I was 90% sure you weren't gonna laugh at that. I don't know how else to put this. I think you gotta let me do it. Let me make the deal for you. It's six months. It's, it's a hockey season. And, and in the end, what difference does it make? Do you think we were right? Doesn't matter what I think. Do you think we were right? It's not a matter of right and wrong. Yes, it is. It always is. That's something people like you say, but it is. Do you think we're guilty? What do you mean, people like me? Do you think we're guilty? I think you'd lose. You're such a coward, I can't believe they let you wear a uniform. You're going to Leavenworth and there's nothing I can do about it. I could have gotten you six months. I'm not going to feel responsible for you. What happened to saluting an officer when he leaves the room? And 
All right, where are we? Docket number four, one, one, two, seven, five, three, out five, United States, person. Lance Corporal, Harry J. Dawson, and Private First Class, the Adami. Defendants are charged with murder in the second degree, conspiracy to commit murder, and to unbecoming a United States Marine. That's the defense which to interplay. Yeah. They're not guilty. Enter a plea of not guilty to the defendants. We will join until 100, one week from today. At which time this court will reconvene as a general court martial. I'll see counsel in my chambers now. So this is what a courtroom looks like. Come on, just go and see you, ma'am. Thank you, Tom. Wanda, any news? Not yet, ma'am. We still got a few more tests to run, and they'll take a while. Even at that, I'm not certain if I'm going to be able to make a determination. I see. Colonel, it would help us to know what happened. It was a code red. The girls were shaving her head. The girl didn't die of a haircut. She died because that's what the Lord saw fit. John, I want you to ease up on that, would you please? Yes, ma'am. You look terrible. Why don't you go get some rest yourself? Yes, ma'am. Wanda, I don't want to pin you down to anything. And I know you've got more tests to run, but let me ask you this. What are the possibilities at this point? It could have been any number of things. Nellie, they used a gag. It could have gotten stuck in her throat. They could have been poisoned on the ride, and she could have had wits scared off her and had a heart attack. Like I said, we may never be certain. Sometimes it's a judgment call. A heart attack? She has a medical history that suggests a possibility of coronary disorder. Nellie, what kind of record? Why wasn't this coronary disorder discovered before? I said a possibility. That's not an answer. Symptoms. Santiago's symptoms were pointing towards far less debilitating conditions. There were no red flags. Is that what you're going to say to a board of inquiry? I don't understand. Doctor, you give these Marines a thorough examination every three months, and every three months you sent Santiago back on that wall with a clean bill of health. Am I wrong? Symptoms were... Wanda, you tell me. What could happen to a doctor's career because of something like this? You know what I think happened? I don't think it was a code red. I think Dawson and Downey got into their heads to kill Santiago. I think, like you said, I think there had to have been poison on the rag. I mean, it's a possibility. How long have we known each other? Four years? Close on to five now. One of the first things I did when I got this command was ask for your assignment to the hospital. One of the first things I'll do when I leave is tell the folks in the Situation Room that I want Wanda Stone coming with me. I put my trust in you, Wanda. I put the lives of my Marines into your hands. That's why I think it had to be poison. Go back and run those tests. You're the doctor. You're a fine doctor, Wanda. And whatever you say, I'll live with it. They're gonna run some investigation on the cause of the death, and I'll do whatever I can for you, Wanda. Thank you, ma'am. You're dismissed. Tom? Get me Captain Markinson. Sir, Lance Corporal Harry W. Dawson, sir. Harriet, why do you do that? I'm representing you in a murder trial. Do you honestly think I don't know who you are? Let's sit down. I thought I'd come by and give you some words of, you know, give you some encouragement. Sit up straight. I know I'm talking to a brick wall, but there's two things I'd like you to consider before we start. The first is that Commander Galloway, Lieutenant Weinberg, and I are doing everything we possibly can for you. And the second is, we're going to get creamed. That's not very confidence-inspiring, I know. It's all right. I'm not the one who needs confidence. After all, it's not up to me anymore, is it? You have to accept the consequences too. Right, sir? 
Yeah, but that's the thing. They're not my consequences to accept. That almost makes it a little bit worse, doesn't it, sir? Harriet, we're going to lose. We're going to lose huge. Last chance. I'll flip you for it. Too late. Hey, Before the judge advocates calls for his first witness, I'd like to make some languages clear. That, without objection, are the sworn statements made by the defense read to the members and entered into the court record. No objection, sir. No objection. And that, without objection, are the sworn statements made by the 21 members of the rifle security company read to the members and entered into the court record. No objection, sir. No objection. Is the government ready to present this case? We are, sir. Government calls Commander Wanda Stone. Call Commander Stone. Commander, would you state your full name, rank, and current billet for the record, please? Commander Wanda Stone, my billet is Internal Medicine Specialist, Guantanamo Bay Naval Hospital. Have a seat. Commander, how long have you been attached to the hospital at Gitmo? From October 1 of last year to the present. And on 7 July of this year, did you have occasion to treat Private First Class Wilhelmina Santiago? I did. Would you describe that treatment? KFC Santiago was brought in the emergency room on the morning of 7 at 0010. She was coughing up blood and suffering through lack of oxygen. She lost consciousness at 0035. What were your observations upon examination? The most obvious ones were the rope marks around her wrist and that her head was partially shaved. X-rays and lab works revealed that her lungs were filled with fluid bilaterally due to profound acidosis, which is to say a buildup of acid in the lungs. And what causes acid to build up in someone's lungs? When the muscles and other cells in the body begin burning sugar instead of oxygen, lactic acid is produced. And from the moment the cells begin burning sugar to the moment the lungs fill with fluid, how long does that take? Ordinarily an hour. Doctor, you say ordinarily. Was this a particularly unusual case? Yes. How so? In Santiago's case, it took less than 15 minutes. What could have caused a sped up reaction such as this? She seems to have ingested poison of some kind. Your Honor, the defense objects at this point. The witness can only speculate as to what caused a sped up reaction. Commander Stone is an expert medical witness. In this court, her opinion is not considered speculation. Commander Stone is an internist, not a criminologist. And the medical facts here are ultimately inconclusive. A point which I'm confident that you'll illustrate during your cross-examination. I'm sure you won't mind if the doctor's opinion is admitted for now. Not at all. A w objection withdrawn. Commander, in your opinion, was Willie Santiago poisoned? Absolutely. Are you aware that the ER report showed no traces of poison? Yes, I am aware. Then how do you justify such there a... There are dozens of toxins that are undetectable under certain circumstances. The nature of acidosis is a compelling factor in this issue. Thank you. Your witness. Commander, my clients say that they didn't use poison. So what I'd like to do is ask you a few questions to see if there couldn't possibly be another explanation. Lieutenant, there is no other explanation. A layman. A layman? Have... Pardon me, Commander, but you're talking to a man who got a C plus in biochem. Twice. Now, as I understand it, the fact that this process took 15 minutes and not 60 minutes is what led to your conclusion yes. that Santiago was poisoned. Yeah. 60 minutes is about average. Yes. In some people it could be more, in some people it could be less. A little bit more or a little bit less? Commander, is it possible for someone to have an affliction, some sort of condition that might speed up this reaction? Commander? You need to understand that. We are talking about 18-year-old Marine with an extraordinary physical shape. That's true. The Marines are required to maintain a certain standard of physical fitness. Isn't that right? Standards which are even higher for Marines in RSC. In fact, you give them routine medical examinations once every three months. Isn't that right? 
That's right. Doctor, is it possible for a young woman to have a coronary condition in which the initial warning signs were so mild that that they could escape a doctor in a routine medical exam? You need to understand, in medicals, we would like to be exact. Well, that's the beauty about being a lawyer for the defense. I don't have to worry about being exact. I only have to worry about, is it possible? Is it possible? There would have been symptoms. What kind of symptoms? There are hundreds of different symptoms. Chest pain? Yes. Shortness of breath? Certainly. Fatigue? If the person's heart wasn't pumping blood. Is this your signature? Yes, it is. This is an order for Santiago to be put on temporary restricted duty. Would you read your handwritten remarks at the bottom of the page? Initial testings, negative. Complaints of chest pain, shortness of breath, and fatigue. Restricted from running distances over five miles in one week. No more questions. Initial testing negative. Is that what it says here? Yes. What sort of tests were these? All manner of Cardiovascular tests? Yes. Cardiopulmonary tests? Physical strength, endurance, in all, how many tests were administered to Private Santiago? Seventeen. And did any of those seventeen tests indicate that there might be something wrong with her heart? No. Doctor, the equipment you have in the CCU of Guantanamo Bay Naval Hospital, would you consider it modern or outdated? It's very modern equipment. In fact, it's the same equipment they have in the CCU at Bethesda Naval Hospital here in Maryland. Am I right? That's right. The hospital which the President of the United States goes to for his checkups. Yes. Dr. Stone, you've held a license to practice medicine for 20 years. You are board certified in internal medicine, and you're chief of internal medicine at a hospital that serves over 7,000 people. In your opinion, was Willie Santiago poisoned? Please, the court, we renew our objection to Commander Stone's testimony and ask that it be stricken from the record. And we further ask that the court instruct the jury to lend no weight to this witness's testimony. The objection's overruled. Your Honor, the defense strenuously objects and requests conference in chambers so that His Honor might have opportunity to hear discussion before overruling the objection. The objection of the defense have been heard and overruled. Exception! Noted, the witness is an expert. Dr. Stone, in your expert opinion, was Willie Santiago poisoned? No questions about it. Thank you. I have no more questions. There? No. While the government reserves its right to call rebuttal witnesses should the need arise, we rest our case. We stand the recess until Monday morning, at which time the defense will, can call its witness. I strenuously object? Is that how it works? Objection overruled. Oh, no, 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 no. I strenuously object. Oh, well, if you strenuously object, let me take time to reconsider. I got it on the record. You even had the, in, in the jury's head, that we're afraid of the doctor. You object once so we can hear you say she's not a criminologist. Any more than that, and it looks like the great cross we did was just a lot of fancy lawyer tricks, which was just what Ross was hoping for. It's the difference between paper law and trial. Sam. You even had the judge say Stone was an expert! She made a mistake. Let's not relive it. I'm sorry. I'm in a funny mood. I'll call home and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Why do you hate them so much? They beat up on a weakling. That's all they did. The rest is just smoke emitters. They tortured and tormented a weaker kid. And it wasn't just that night, read the letters, it was eight months. And you know what? I bet it was her whole life. They beat her and they killed her. And why? Because she couldn't run very fast. Do you think the argument we're going to make on Monday is legally sound? I think the argument we're going to make on Monday is morally reprehensible. Since when do lawyers get to decide what's morally reprehensible? And since when do Marines get to decide which laws they're going to obey? Joe. Sam's busting your butt off for these guys. She doesn't have to like them. And Sam, the only Marines we're worried about are Dawson and Downey. I'll take the night off. Danny, I... I mean it. We've been working 18-hour days for two weeks. Take the night off. Go home and see your family. And Joe, go do whatever it is you do when you're not here. We'll talk tomorrow. Shouldn't we... No. Take the night off. Okay. I thought we did pretty good today. You have to hand it to Ross. 
He's very good. <laughs> he had seven questions in his redirect and sent the jury to bed with the image that Wanda Stone is the president's doctor. He put Stone in his pocket with seven questions. I think he's just getting started. Well, that was depressing. How much damage did I cause? Doesn't matter. Are you saying that because I didn't cause that much damage or because it's water under the bridge? I'm saying it doesn't matter because we'll never know and there's nothing we can do about it. Good. That's a good attitude. Why do you like them so much? At this moment, there's probably no one that Dawson dislikes more than you. And if someone fired a gun at you, she'd stand in front of the bullet without thinking twice. Don't worry about the doctor. This trial starts Monday. Can I help you? I hope so. I've been getting the run around all morning. Give up Hamilton, Baltimore Sun Times. Hey, good sports section. The best. What can I do for you? I'm doing a two-part feature on air traffic between different bases around the world, but mostly focusing on Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and Andrews Air Force Base. Sounds interesting. Do you keep on file a record of outgoing and incoming flights? Anything that isn't classified, sure. We have copies of all the Daily Tower Chief's logs. Is that right? Sure, they list incoming and outgoing flights, passenger manifests. We only have the copies of the original let's say at the base. Great, can I have the copies of the evening of the 6th and the morning of the 7th? Got it. The only thing is, I need to see a fleet requisition and a 710 signed by two officers over the ranking lieutenant. G. I'm sorry, but I can't show you the logbooks without a fleet requisition and a 710 signed by two officers over the ranking lieutenant. I understand. Is the, DR is the duty officer here? No, sir. He's at a department meeting. Is G. Is there anyone else I can speak to? Not for another half hour. Everybody's at lunch. I'm the only one here. Well, well let's get some logbooks. Mm -hmm. 